try and blend in with all of the posh people. Good afternoon, um, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yvette, I'm documenting my experiences in the UK and today is a very life in the UK type video. Whenever I go traveling, the first thing I want to do, literally the second I get off the plane, is go to the supermarket because I think that's super interesting <laughs> and I don't know if this whole concept of a video is going to be like Yvette you're all the weird one. I just like seeing different brands, how they do things, different options. I think you can really see um, societally, you know, a lot about a country from their supermarkets. For today's video I'm, I wanted to do a video on Waitrose. If you don't know Waitrose is the poshest supermarket in the UK. It's known for being upper class, bougie, expensive etc. But how expensive is it? So I need to do a shop, midweek shop, I'm picking up stuff for dinner. I did put makeup on, I look like I haven't, which is concerning, but um, I'm heading home from work, so I've come to the waitress to work. And yeah, so we're gonna do, um, I've gotta pick up some stuff for the weekend, and uh, I've gotta pick up stuff for dinner tonight because I am cooking for one. So um, I don't wanna do a big dish, so I'm gonna make some pasta for me. Um, so we'll do that, I'm gonna go through each of the aisles, I'll show you the bits and bobs, I'll show you the general cost, of like basic goods and then I'll show you the till at the end of like what the total shop comes to and then I'm gonna do a counterpart one and do one at Aldi because I love Aldi or I could do little but I hate little but I love Aldi so probably be Aldi <laughs> and see compare the pair kind of thing not gonna be perfect because I am just kind of to avoid waste buying things I actually need so unless I happen to need the same things it won't be the most direct comparison but you'll see anyways we'll cross that bridge when we get to it right now let's go buy some ravioli Grab our basket because I suspect I'm not going to be a hero. Okay. Fresh food and veg. Um, so we got. See, I feel like my out of touch, but I feel like it's not that expensive. 85p for an aubergine. You come to the reduced section to get what you need. Do you remember when kale used to be all the rage? I feel like no one talks about kale anymore. I do not like Brussels sprouts. Controversial. Daniel loves them. Surely I'm not alone. I don't know about every store, but um, Waitrose does do like pre-made mash um, and trimmed Brussels sprouts. These are like the pre-prepared bits. Waitrose strawberries, 270. Need to become a berry farmer. Cost of a berry these days. The crisps aisle. I'll tell you my faves. Um, it is so busy today. Thai rolls. I call these the posh, the posh crisp crisps. Um, what else? I love a what's it. I did that in a video once. Love that for me. Uh, I always tend to go the pop chips because I feel like they're healthier. But I don't know if they actually are. But it works for me. <laughs> the marketing worked on me. Then got the fruit cordials or the squashes. Squash is a very, um, is it even squash? I do not know. The free from section. All the gluten free people. The soft drink and fruit juices. Alcohol. One thing I think is funny is that it's a very British thing. I can, no, I'll take it back. It's a very Australian thing, but we don't sell alcohol um, in the supermarket. You have to go to a special alcohol store. So just having this like between the biscuit and the crisps is bizarre for me. They have a very posh wine section. Looks like a, I'm in Ikea. Whole wine aisle. So that was the hard liquor. Oi oi. Australia. And remember Duskwish Fry Sizzle. I don't even know what they're selling. Um, ah, the most important one is the tea and coffee aisle. So these are twinings. They have them for three pounds. I don't know what the index for tea is these days. Interesting that they're selling the metabolism one and detox tea. That is um, a very new year, new me. All of the coffee. I don't drink coffee. Although they do have a lot of hot, good hot chocolates, I think. I started making hot chocolate from scratch recently, which is very bold of me. Who do I think I am? So I feel like six pounds for that is good. I don't know. Do I know anything? Absolutely not. Um, 
Real talk, best tea of all time. Yorkshire. It's got my name on it too. Well, that's my old name. <laughs> Before I was married. Uh, seven pounds for a biggin. That is 80 tea bags though. They do have the um, waitress own brand as well though, for a pound. So you know. There's the classic Yorkshire. What is the difference between Yorkshire Gold and Yorkshire Normal? Real talk. Does anyone actually know? And PG tips, which is an abomination. No, I'm joking. I don't. Whatever you think. <laughs> Some specials. More juice. Now we're into the biscuits or the bickies. These are very good. Thomas Fudge. I've never tried this, but it looks fun. I'm pretty sure it's just the colours and the marketing, but I am the same like for mental fortitude as a two year old, so I will pick up the most colourful thing. Digestives, classic. Oh, you know it's a good index. The tea cakes. Well, oh, they've gone up. Tea cakes. They used to be 99p for a box. Another pound fifty. It's gone right up. Cost of living crisis. Okay, we're into the chocolates. I quite enjoy Tony's. Twirl is my actual favourite chocolate of all time. Everything else is inferior. Flakes are just a naked twirl. The wine gums that have no wine in them. Daniel's favourite thing in the world is oats. The oat section. Huge porridge section. And granola. The posh chocolate. It is literally January and they're advertising Easter. Um, love a mini egg though. Can't be mad about it. Uh, cereal. Since when do they sell Oreos? I feel like that's American. <laughs> Milk options, ice creams. Oh, they have Bougie Bougie, which is very Bougie Bougie. But, um, very good. Oh my god, and vegan vegan Magnums. I got here much. So many veggie options. I think because it's Veganuary. Hagen Daz, so. What I always think is hilarious is the bean section is literally massive. Like, this is just Heinz, and then there's other beans. <laughs> um, like, calm down. Um, so, we are here for beans. We want kidney beans. And we want some black beans. And I'm here for tomatoes. What do I want? Definitely taking the 60p one, putting it on the bottom shelf, thinking I won't see it. Jokes on you. I'll always find the cheap one. So you know what? I haven't bought a bag. I just grabbed a bunch of cans. So that's going to end poorly for me. We're in the condiment section. This is the best vegan mayo, if anyone's asking. Got some nuts. And I'm going to show you my favourite section. This is the meat section. Obviously not for me, but you know, you do you. Salmon is five pounds thirty. They have this whole veggie section. It's not really marked, but they have so much veggie stuff here. But this is what we're going for. Ho -ho. They've got spinach ravioli or motorito tortellini, three pounds forty. Which one am I having for dinner tonight? Decisions, decisions. I'm gonna have no chorizo tortellini. I've not had that before. Mushroom pie. Anyone? I had these, didn't love it. <laughs> love your charcuterie board. Actually, with do they have the best hummus? It's a very good guacamole. But that's not what we're here for. They don't think they have the good hummus. No, no more hum No good hummus. There's one hummus that is so superior. Um pre-made meals they also have you know, I don't know why I'm turning this into a vegan tour that is like the best vegan whipped, vegan whipped cream pre-made profiteroles we're in the eggs and baking section I think um, they always have such really cool interesting baking stuff like you can buy marzipan fondant that's all normal they got the pre-made icing cake fountains like these oh that's on special um our root powder, like these used to be really hard to find. Like Madagascan vanilla pods. <laughs> it's very for seven pounds. That's very um waitrose. Nuts. Smaller nuts. My true love, bread. 
honestly couldn't even tell you my favourite bread. I love them all equally like my children. Love a bakery. We've got pretty cute cakes for kids. Very good millionaire shortbreads for so pound fifty. See, am I crazy? I just feel like it's not that expensive. I don't obviously seven pounds for vanilla is, but these are all the pre made cakes you can get. Which these have truly upgraded since when I was a kid. Like these would have been like five hundred dollars <laughs> as a kid. Now they're like thirteen pounds for schmores. That's crazy. There's an Xbox cake. Oh, there's a plant living. They literally have a plant vegan celebration cake. That's crazy. That's so niche. Oh, I should have got that for Daniel. Oh, and there's very important waitress's answer to Colin the caterpillar is Cecile. I don't know how this became a thing, but um, love it. I think it's really cute. There's little gingerbread things for kids. Super cute. Pound seventy-five. Oh, dinosaur. I want to see get that for Dan. Oh my god, it's Dan the dinosaur. Stop it. Some peppers, although I call them capskins, <laughs> which is an Australian term. A fun word we invented. I hate having to weigh things, so will I buy more than I need just because it already has a barcode? Yes. Tomatoes, 250. Not too bad. I always get caught into buying one of these because I think, oh, I'll keep it alive and it's better value and then I always kill it. What is this? Essential red onion, a pound. But I could get large, if I don't want a large onion. Mm, this is very stressful. Getting the one with already a barcode. You always need an onion. All of that. Do do comes to 12 pounds. Got my shopping. Fuming that I had to get a bag. <laughs> so annoying. And we're done. Um, oh, it's quite heavy actually. I was gonna say like it didn't feel the most value for money. 12 pounds for two meals. One of the meals is gonna is gonna feed a lot of girls. I'm going away for the weekend. I might vlog a bit of it. Don't really know. I'm going with like not internet people, so we will see. But um. I'm making a bean mix for that. That's gonna feed like 10 people, ideally. I don't know, I didn't measure anything. I don't measure things, I just, the gist, you know? So I got the cans of tomato for the bean mix and then I got another can for tomatoes because I'm making that tortellini um, and then I'll just make my own pasta sauce rather than buying Jamie Oliver's one. I'll just like use a can of tomatoes, bunch of spices and we're done, you know? Anyway, so that was all for this video. It was literally just a quick, like, I'm gonna show you inside a posh supermarket. Um, it was quite busy. Apologies if there was any background noise. Um, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I know it's like mundane, but sometimes I think the mundane is more interesting. Cause, like everyone's like skydiving and a million dollars here and blah. Let's just chill out a bit. Let's just go shopping. Thanks so much for watching. Tell me in the comments below if you've shopped at Waitrose. Do you normally shop at Waitrose? What's your preferred shop? Very controversial opinion there are so many in the uk i will see you again next time remember to subscribe and bye